Hey everyone, thank you for watching. In today's video, I transformed myself into Megan Fox from the VMAs earlier this week. So if you wanna see me go from this to this, then please keep watching. For primer slash lotion, I'm gonna use the Late Cream Concentrate and I'm gonna hydrate the skin. For foundation today, I'm using 310G by Huda Beauty. I'm mixing light medium honey and medium honey on the back of my hand for concealer. I'm going to apply that under my eyes. I know it's nothing new, but it's so good to see you. We do this every day, and I'm still so amazed by you. So hold me tight through the night mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's just us two Now we're gonna take the beauty blender And just blend me and you mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm then going to warm up the face with the Midnight Marigold. So as soon as I saw this look, I was like, I need to recreate it. I feel like Megan Fox kind of disappeared for a while, which I know she had kids and all that, so it makes sense. But she is back. And you could definitely tell she's been hanging out with Courtney because she has a glam team now. The glam team. So Ash K. Home, she's an amazing makeup artist. She's the one who did Megan's look and I know she does like all the Kardashians and all that so I'm sure Courtney hooked Megan up with the team because Megan's been looking amazing. So it looks like she really doesn't have a nose contour in um, the photo. But I want to try and shape my nose a little bit more like hers. So I'm going to do a little bit of nose contour plus what's a makeup tutorial by me without a nose contour. So I'm going to take that same shade and I'm just going to start carving out my nose a little bit. Megan, if you watch this, I love you. I'm taking a little bit of concealer and I'm just going to go over the brown to blend it. Every single day. So I'm just gonna set the yeah. under eyes. So hold me tight the I'm gonna take my Moonstruck palette in light. I'm gonna use the contour. It's a little more gray. Just go over the nose. We're gonna go in with that same bronzer just around the face. So you guys know I normally kind of skip past the eyebrow part. But I feel like because Megan Fox has like iconic eyebrows, I'm going to keep this part in. I'm using the Granite Brow Wiz. I always like to brush my eyebrows up first. It's funny because I feel like a lot of people on YouTube found me from my Megan Fox tutorials way back when. So when I saw this look, I was like, I have to like, I just have to recreate it. It's just only right. And I think we got like almost 200,000 yeses to create it. So. You know, this one's for you guys.
going in with the granite powder and I'm just gonna fill them in again focusing mainly on the outer um, because you want them to be lighter towards the middle so I always start on the outside and then work my way in and then for the front part I always kind of do like strokes like this upwards to mimic the hair So what's so awesome is Megan's makeup artist literally wrote everything she used, which was amazing. So for her eyes, we are going to be using, I went out and bought this, the Buxom and Ash K-Home Palette. I'm so excited to try this. She is literally one of the sweetest girls ever, and we've talked through DMs um, a bunch, and she's just so sweet. I told her I need to get her on my channel one day. I know I had just had Sonata on my channel. I have another special someone who agreed to come on, and I thought it would be really cool to just kind of like get outside people in on my channel that are like experts in the industry. You know, I've done everything so many times over and over again, and I thought that would be a fun like new twist for my channel so definitely comment below let me know who you guys want to see can you imagine i got megan fox on my channel i would suck brow bone inner lid she used iconic which is this shade right here so this is really going to make my life so much easier instead of just guessing so we're going to take iconic Ooh, beautiful it has like a little shimmer to it is it a shimmer or is it a matte it's like a matte, but it has like a, a nice sheen to it. So this color is gonna go on the inner lid as well. And I'm dragging it above my crease as well. Okay, and then we're going in with the shade Living. And this is going to the tear duct. Next we're gonna take with our fingertip stacks and we're gonna apply this on the center and outer lid for a rich glow. Okay, girl. Mm. Gorgeous. So next, fluffy blending brush with the color Teddy. And this palette, if you guys know me, this palette is right up my alley. I love a good neutral palette. So this is gonna go right into the crease. Tiny bit in here, it's pretty light on her, so I'm just gonna do a little bit and focus it mostly on the edges. Teddy in the outer crease. So with a smaller blending brush like this, I'm gonna grab, oh, I screwed up. So I kind of screwed that one up. It's supposed to be unfiltered, which is the lighter shade in the crease. So we're just gonna go over that. It's okay, luckily I did it pretty light. And then with the smaller blending brush Teddy in the outer V. So she definitely has a nude liner. So I'm gonna use the Makeup by Mario Brightening Pencil in Light One. And it looks like there's really nothing on her lower lash line. I'm going to just do a tiny, tiny bit of the color Teddy just to give a little bit of dimension because I want my eyes to look bigger. So if you apply a little bit of like lighter shadow on the lower part, like what I'm doing, it's going to help open up your eyes a little bit, which I want to look more like Megan, so that's why I'm doing that. Next, I'm using the Lash Glue Liner. It's my favorite and it just lasts forever. And we're going to do like a cat eye look. For the wing, you just want to look straight into a mirror and just kind of like swoop it off where your, where your upper and lower um, eye meet. And then for lashes, where are they? I am just going to do it right on the outer, and I'm going to use, these are INVL Curl. They look pretty similar to what she has. So we're just going to cut these because, again, we just want them on the outer to give it, like, that really nice cat eye. On the mascara, focusing it on the edge. 
I'm going to take the Moonstruck palette, highlight my nose. I'm also going to take the Shimmer Highlight Bronzer from my pa light palette and I'm going to go over the cheeks. And I'm going to use my Medium Palette Blush and also the shade 1989 from her palette. Next. I love me some blush. So for lips, I'm using Buxom Hush Hush Liner. In her close-up photo versus like the far away photo, it looks more like peachy pink. Um, I'm just gonna use a little bit of Luna liner just to shape the lips more. Cause I think it'll look better. Also the lipstick she uses out of stock everywhere. So I'm using mine, which is Taurus, which is very similar. It's like that pinky nude. And then a little bit of Dolly lip gloss is what she used. Like I said, the far away photo, it looks more brown, which I like better than like the more peachy. So I'm just gonna go in a little more with the liner. All right, so now hair. This is like what I'm most excited about. My hair is a kind of a mess, but... So I s washed it last night and then I slept in a braid to have all these natural waves. It's gonna make your life a lot easier when doing this. Oh, I forgot bottom lashes, hold on. Let me just do that really quick, guys. So a little bit of uh, powder under the eyes and a little bottom mascara. So Andrew Fitzsimmons is the one who did her hair. So again, thank you for listing what you used. So this is the curling iron I'm using right now. Like I said, my hair is pretty much all wavy already. So I'm just gonna kinda go over the front pieces um, and then like this. So these front pieces, I'm curling towards my face. I, don't know, I feel like the wave starting down here for that is fine because I don't want it to be too puffy. So literally, this will probably be the quickest hair I ever do. So, and this is really what I do. I just don't do all like the products to make it look wet. So this is how I do my hair because I'm lazy and I don't like to <gasps> spend too much time on it. So again, just the front two pieces curled towards the face. Ow. See from like the far away picture, she looks so much more bronzy too. But I felt like Megan's always kind of more light skinned, so. Okay. And then on his post, he said he used a Living Proof Nourishing Style Cream and Vanishing frizz, vanishing oil. So I've never used these. I went out and bought these also. So let's make the hair look wet. So I'm gonna just take the cream first and just start working it into the hair. So normally when I do the wet look, I do um, like mousse, but her hair looked like fresh out of the shower wet. So we're gonna use what he used. Mmm, I love this. This smells really good. And this looks amazing. So you're just gonna work your work it through your hair. So yeah, I recommend really letting the braid do all the work for you. But if you're in a time crunch, um, you can use that same iron for my hair's so freaking long. Um, throughout your whole head, which I've done before too. And then the oil. Give it like that really wet sheen. Okay. 
Alright, so I'm going to put on the outfit that I want to wear and then I'll show you guys how I do the body too to make it look wet. So I'm going to take the Patrick Ta We Need Her Major Glow. This is going all over. And then I'm going to just take this highlighter and highlight a little bit more. So this is the final result. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.